Hey guys, Adam with the Clifton Door. Well, I've had some requests to do some videos in reference to paracord, some knots, and also some braids, kind of like this, this Cobra braid right here, or some people call it a Cobra stitch. Everybody wears their 550 paracord bracelets, and this is a pretty simple technique. There's tons of videos out there already, but I, th I thought I'd do something a little bit different, talk about exact measurements, applying this to something useful. I'm gonna make Cobra stitch zipper tabs for my EDC bag. And I wanna give you guys some, some specs in reference to how to most effectively and efficiently use your paracord the measurements are needed based on the size of the tab that you want to do. So grab a pen and paper because you have to write down some numbers. We'll be right back. All right, guys, here we are. And just a couple things that we have here I want to talk about real quick. But the first thing I want to do is just kind of go over a review of the Cobra Stitch for you guys. And those of you guys who are just looking at this video, be like, hey, I know how to do this. I just want some, some help remembering what to do. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually unwrap this piece I'm working on right now. And we'll give you guys a close-up look in a second. It's a very simple braid to do. So as you can see, we have these two pieces coming in to a single point and the cord coming, and this piece of cord coming over here towards the next, the next side. So we go, we cross, the other piece goes over, behind, and through. And then we tighten up as we need be. The other side would be cross, over, behind, and through. Cross, over, behind, and through. Okay, so that's just a quick review. We'll do it one more time. So the side that's has a piece that's over, right there. We cross, go over, behind, and through. All right, simple as that. Now, one thing to keep in consideration, you guys can see the spacing. This is kind of loose. Once this is once this is where you want, you can actually push it up to tighten it up to make the braid as stiff as you want it to be. I'm, of course, like I said before, I'm going to be doing zippered pulls, and so I want this to be pretty stiff. All right, so let's let's back up here for a second. We'll go over some other stuff. So, of course, this being equipped to Nord video, we want to do a little bit more than that. But one thing that I want to talk about is paracord in general. Not all paracord is created equally. As you can see here, this is some cheap Walmart camouflage paracord. It is actually gutted. There's no internal threads at all. So it's just the hollow shell. The material of the shell, the weave, is not exactly even that good of materials. It frays pretty easily. Uh, it is overall cheap cord. The only reason I have it is I have this cheap old ceramic rod. You guys might have recognized this from an older video. And uh, so it just sticks on there. No big deal. All right. The military grade cord that everybody talks about actually has eight strands, and one of the strands is colored, as you guys can see here. We're gonna, so that's how you know that you're dealing with the military grade paracord. Now, just because it's military grade, or just because it's not military grade, doesn't mean it's necessarily bad stuff. We also have the very common seven cords, cord paracord. Here's a big used hank of it right here. And this isn't as bad as you guys can see though. These cords aren't wrapped as tightly. They're a little bit thicker than the other cords for the military grade. This stuff, stuff works well. I don't know if it's exactly tested at 550 pounds, but nonetheless. All right, so let's get to our project at hand. A couple quick things I'm gonna show you. The first one, we'll use this buckle as a simple girth hitch or also known as a cow hitch. And basically what you do is take a bite of rope, you slide it through there, and then you're going to take the other two pieces and slide it down. So we'll try that one more time. When I say a bite of rope, a bite of rope just means taking the rope and bending it in half like that. Slide that through whatever buckle that we have here. Get through there, buckle. You pull it out and you're able to slide that through and tighten it up. As I said before, a girth hitch or a cow hitch, just a simple hitch I want to show you guys that is that here, for example. So let's talk about our project. All right, guys, so here we have my Maxpedition. This is my EDC bag. Uh, don't mind my Incredible Hulk Spider-Man cup of green tea over here, excuse me. Oh, it's kind of chilly down here. I gotta stay hydrated. Anyway, we have these simple 550 cord tabs right here for the zippers. 
which do come unraveled a lot. So that does become a pain in the butt. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace these tabs with Cobra braids such as this. Something to grab onto to open my zippers for my bag. So you got to be careful though because we don't want these things to become too big where they become a hazard with snagging. But at the same time, some of these, maybe some of these pockets I use a lot like this one, especially this back pocket right here. That's a concealed carry option of the bag. We really want to get those zippers squared away. We don't want them to fall off and render the bag zippers very difficult to open. A nice stiff Cobra braid to help out with that. So let's get started. All right, guys, real quick though, we're going to do some numbers here. I'm going to finish braiding this cross, over, behind, and through. One thing with, with when you're doing any kind of 550 cord braids, you're always going to waste a little bit of these tabs. You know, so you want a good inch to work with. I mean, you can get tighter than this and, and save a little bit of, of cordage. I'll show you. You might need to pull out your needle nose pliers and help you pull these cords through here. We'll act like everybody's got great hand dexterity and can get that in there pretty easily. All right, so now it's time to, to do some measurements. We need to do some math to make sure that we're effectively and efficiently using our quarters. So we're looking at approximately four inches. It's actually three and three quarters. Remember what I said before, you know, this, the, this understrand, and we'll go through the whole, the whole construction here. You know, there's just two strands right here that this, this braid is wrapped around. These are actually not knotted. If I wanted to, I could just pull this thing all the way through here and untie this. So we're going to round up to about four inches there. All right, so about four inches of wrap. So let's measure the distance, the length of this cord in general. And what we're going to do is we're just going to pull this out this way and unwrap this cord a little bit faster. Now, one thing I can say, there are some different wraps that are a much more effective way of, of kind of uh, dispensing 550 cord. Cobra braids take a long time to unravel. Um, so just keep that in consideration. There's some really great, there's some really great wraps out there and maybe we'll share some with you guys a little bit later. This one is a fan favorite. Remember, the job for this, I want this to be stiff so I can really grab my zippers and open it up. And as you can see, this is a pretty long piece of cord. Well, relatively long piece of cord for four inches of wrap. All right, guys, so got our trusty tape measure out and that four inches of paracord braid was 54 inches total of paracord. So when we do our tabs, you wanna think, well, hey, listen, I want a two inch tab pulls. That should be pretty good. So I'm thinking, all right, we need about 27 inches of, of cords to meet that. We want to add about two inches for going through the tab in general and a little bit extra that we're going to cut out. So we're looking at about 29 inches of cord for our two inch tabs. That's a little fuzzy math, but let's see how it, let's see how it goes. We can still use this piece of khaki right here. And because my, my bag is foliage khaki, I'm going to use a foliage colored cord and khaki colored cord. And one thing too, paracord does stretch. So I wouldn't stretch it out very taut. I just let it where it freely stays. Got our ZT350. Go and make a cut. Ooh, that thing needs to be sharp. I need to get my work sharp out. All right, so here we go. We got our, our 30 inch piece that's gonna go on this piece to make, to make our two inch piece. But with all things, we need to begin with the end in mind. And if I make a wrap, with a tiny loop like this, I'm not gonna be able to do my hitch with a big braid. So I can do one or two things. I can braid this actually on my bag, which would probably be a good idea. Or I can make the loop big enough where when I did my girth hitch or cow hitch, I could easily get the braid on there. But I don't want the braid to be that, many, that much space in there. So I'm actually going to put the braid on here. Take off my little Nova light, and we're gonna do this main pocket first. Now we have this little tabby here. We might not wanna throw that away because that would actually be a perfect, 
a perfect piece for us to do our hitch on. Maybe I'll do one wrap with the khaki and one wrap with the foliage and, and reverse the order of how the braid goes. Let's get our little handy dandy ruler out. And we know we want our tabs to be about two inches long. So there's going to be four inches total. And we might just want to add an inch or an inch and a half extra just to work with. We'll go ahead and round this up to six. I've got, I'm pretty uh, well stocked on my supply of 550 cords, so I could stand to uh, misuse a little bit. But you know, you guys might be acting pretty stingy with your 550 cord, which isn't a, a bad idea to do. All right, now the one thing we want to do is we want to make sure we keep this nice and tight. We're going to go ahead and burn the ends of this right now. I hate it when my 550 cord starts to fray. See how we just pushed it on that? That does, that does one, or, one of two things. It actually helps it cool down faster and then also gives it a nice, clean, smooth surface. So we're going to take this in here. Now this, this is the part that might need a, you might need to get a, your, your needle nose pliers or a, a good needle to actually push this piece through. Easy enough. It looks about good. That's where we want our tab to be. So here we go. All right. So we can start with this as high or low as we want. You guys might even want to make this a little bit longer so you can put a knot in there. I'm not really worried about that. Next thing we want to do is make sure our sides are a little bit even. They can always wear a little bit, but that's okay. And we can go to town. So we cross, go over, behind, and through. And then we're going to start tightening it up. We have our first side, cross, over, behind, and through. Now, you can tighten it up as you go, or you can tighten it up later. It doesn't matter. Cross, over, behind, and through. Now, you guys are probably getting tired of me saying that, but you know what? That way you won't forget it. Cross, over, behind, and through. And it starts to take shape. Cross, over, behind, and through. Cross, over, behind, through. And as you guys can see already, I mean that zipper right there, so much, it's going to be so much easier for me. I might want to. Right now it's kind of it's kind of too stiff, so I might want to hey you know what let's pull this back a little bit and give some more some more slack in there. You can do that, and then maybe. So what you can do here, if you had some locking pliers, you put those right where you want, and then tighten that other section. All right. Same time you want that to be flexible. Cross over behind through I think that's look, looking pretty good functions pretty well yeah buddy and I think it's uh, pretty stylish and you see guys even though I thought I started out even we always have a little bit extra so we prepared for that imagine if this was two inches shorter I've been working with just a nub on this side. And let's see if we got our desired length. Yep, a little bit more than two inches, that'll work. Everything's looking pretty solid. All right, so let's finish this piece. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I wanna finish, these pieces already melted down below, but I'm gonna re-melt them, and kind of melt them together. The reason I'm doing this, I want to make sure I cut these just right. 
Let's just go right back in here one more time to make sure everything's good to go before we start chomping on things. All right, that'll work. So we'll go ahead and cut that. Now before you start doing anything else, I'd light that one up real quick. Don't worry if you send the other stuff. It's, it'll, it'll work out. Hit up the last one. And we're good to go, guys. There you have it. A braid that is functional for what you want it to do. Now, hey, you might want to only have an inch tab. You want to, might want to have a two inch tab. That's up to you. Works pretty good for what I want it to do. And who knows? Maybe I'll, three months down the line, I'll be like, you know what? I'm gonna shorten this up again. But it's pretty comparable in size to its predecessor. Just a lot easier to grab on there. And so I'm definitely gonna do this to more of the bag. So just recap, guys. Ugh. Do the math. Have some kind of measuring tool. Make sure you have your lighter. A good multi-tool will help out. Your knife. And of course, some quality paracord. And if you're measuring long pieces of paracord, then you grab a tape. Okay guys, well I hope you enjoyed that one. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. If you guys like this type of video, let me know. We can always make more videos like this. Pretty quick and fun, but great lessons in there. Remember, when you're doing the braid, the ratio is about one to 14 with the length of the cord that you're wrapping the braid around to the braid cord itself. So give it a try out. There's great stuff out there. People show how to do different stuff, adding multi-piece of color cord to make some really cool patterns and designs. But for functionality and putting it on there, I hope this video was helpful. Hey guys, Adam from Equipped Indoor. If you guys have any questions or comments, please email me at adam at equippedindoor.com. Make sure you check out the website at www.equippedindoor.com. You guys take care. Be safe out there. And remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared. Thanks.